Hey guys, good morning. Uh, sorry I got a little bit of a cold, but I just wanted to kind of quickly jump in here and show you kind of, just so there's another way of documenting it, so everyone kind of has this tool at their hands, a little video vignette on how to do a UDS report. So pretty much anyone can run it. Uh, one of these things that requires is that you guys have uh, the access to do it and the keys, and I pretty much gave everybody in our health you know, system these keys. So what I'm gonna do is simply go here, go up at UDS, and what this does is will jump us. That little up hat is like a jump sign. It will jump us to the UDS reports. And what I'll do is I run the most recent logic. So that is just a year that the logic came out. It doesn't mean the year that you'll be running the report for. So I'm going to go UD12. And then I'm going to say I want to report. Uh, and then here, what I'm going to do is select all. Now, this is kind of weird because it's going to ask me it twice. I have no idea. Uh, why it does that, but I'm going to go M, and oh, I got my stuff jumping around over here, and then I'm going to go ahead and enter again. So now I'm going to pick right here, I'm going to, what I'm going to do is pick 12. So there's, I remember I said to ask you twice, and then we're going to, it's going to go into these questions. So one of the first things it asks you is about the prenatal care. We talked a little bit about this uh, at the UDS training. Uh, we're going to go ahead and say yes. And please enter your site, St. Paul. And there it is. Now it goes and checks your taxonomies and make sure they're all there. So it's saying all of our taxonomies are there, we're good to go. Now we want to run it for the year. So for example, if I wanted to see how well we're doing for 2014, I would run it you know, right now and I would basically see from January uh, 1st to January 15th how well we're doing. That's a great tool. If I wanted to look at last year, I'd go 2013. And I would say full calendar year, and I'd say one, Indian, Alaskan Natives. Uh, and then I would go on and look at this, uh, enter. And here's what, you got to put like a, um, a template name. What it does is it stores it as a name. So I'll say uh, James uh, 14, or let's do James 13 for last year. All right, and now I'm going to print to my screen. Now, here's an important thing for you guys. I'm going to show you this quick little trick uh, to what we can save this report. Uh, we're going to go like this. We're going to go up here to go File, Session, Logging. And so what we're going to do is record the screen. And then we're going to go up here and we're going to pick our desktop. And then we're going to give it a unique name. Uh, we'll call it uh, James13 again, .txt. Now that .txt is important because it will open it up as a text file. Okay. So now here's the second part. We want it all to kind of compile. So in RPMS, when you run a report, it'll kind of be, you know, a little bit crazy, like page break, page break, page break. What we want to do is just put it all together. It's a nice little list. And now I'm going to hit enter. And this will run uh, fairly quickly. And what it will do is it will be on our desktop in a matter of no time. And then that report we can go quickly look at and uh, kind of see, what, see what's going on. So let me go over here to my desktop little bit see if it's kind of up there somewhere there's that uh, James 13 so when I open that up what you'll see is the UDS report so that's basically uh, the gist of running the UDS report from you know start to finish it's quite easy I'll kind of make this a YouTube link so anyone can go look at it thank you